ignore the cold weather today because I know we're in for a warm up. It's a big warm up and really it's just uh, this winter has been so strange where it's been so mild and we get these brief bursts of colder air and then it's back to the mild really most of next week is now going to feel like February. In fact, it's going to feel like spring out there at times. Now, it is still going to be chilly out there this evening. We made it to around 30 for a high today, and those numbers should fall back down into the mid, perhaps even low 20s for some of us here this evening. 23, the current number in Mechanicsburg. We've got clear skies and still a lot of dry air in place, so that should allow those numbers to continue to drop slowly over the next few hours. And then some clouds will roll in, and those temperatures will steady out, if not climb a few degrees overnight. So we're down to 27 at Camp Hill, Hummelstown, even St. Patrick's School in Carlisle, down to 27. We've got Lewistown at 26. The wind, not as much of a factor today. And you can see those wind chills now are really not a big deal. Nothing like what we were dealing with last night when wind chills were sub zero at times. Look at the warmer air coming our way. 29 right now in Harrisburg. And look at all the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Yeah, this is all moving in our direction. And really, by tomorrow afternoon, you're going to notice the difference as we head back toward the upper 40s. And by the middle of next week, we're talking mid 50s. It'll be like this cool down this weekend. Never even happened. Everything is quiet right now. We have plenty of clear skies overhead, but there is a, a weak disturbance moving through the middle part of the country right now. That's going to spread in some clouds overnight and into most of your Sunday, but we're going to remain dry. It's just going to be a rather dreary looking day tomorrow. Eventually, by Monday, we should start to see some sun break out for the second half of the day. So this evening, it will be chilly, but more seasonable. Notice what happens overnight, though. More clouds roll in, and those temperatures are actually going to rise a little bit as we approach sunrise. There's going to be a lot of warmer air coming in aloft overnight, and that will translate down to the surface tomorrow for sure as we're back into the upper 40s. So even with the clouds around, that will not stop temperatures from climbing well above average. Notice that the clouds linger into Sunday night and Monday morning. This is with a weak front that's really not going to do a whole lot to change our weather by Monday afternoon back to sunshine and high temperatures still in the upper 40s. It's not just the high temperatures, it's the lows tomorrow morning. We're in the mid uh, 20s. Eventually by the middle and end of next week, high lows are pushing near 40. So that will be a good 15 degrees above the average. And same goes for the high temperatures as well. Notice by Tuesday we're up to 50 degrees, maybe just a stray evening shower possible. And then 55 next Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday looks like our best chance for rain. And then we do cool down a little bit as we hit toward next weekend. But even that likely is not going to stick around for too much long. Jared, over to you.